Welcome to my channel Aligning With My Soul. Welcome to all the new subscribers and thank you so much for all your love, support and for you to leave comments. It really does mean the world to me for you to share your journey and how you're feeling and encouraging me to carry on doing my channel and my journey on my Twin Flame journey. So thank you so much for taking the time to do that. It does mean so much to me. Um, if you are new to this channel, I have recently done a video sharing myself, you can see my face, and sharing a bit about myself, about you know some of the obstacles and complications I've been through on my journey and where I'm at at the moment. So if you really want to go and see that, I'll leave it in the descri description box down below so you can go and check that out. Um, and the purpose of this channel is for me to do masculine readings because I'm tapping to the masculine energy because it's usually the feminines that really love watching this kind of video and they need the guidance and help sometimes to support them on this journey and to, I know how scary it is sometimes and you just want to have some idea of what's going on with the masculine and sometimes you get some really good uh, messages and it just gives you the strength and the guidance that you need, just that little message. So I know how important it is. Um, because sometimes you just feel like you're just going into the unknown on this journey. So, um, and it is feminines that want to know what's going on with the masculines. Um, so that's why I do masculine um, readings. I use oracle cards as well because I think they're more clear, loving and spiritual and just better understanding. So that's why I use oracle cards. And this channel is for people that are in some kind of challenge or separation with their twin flame, with you know maybe no communication as well. Um, so when I say separation, it isn't separation because you're one soul, so you're not separate. You're just not with a physical person, and that's really important that you know that. And it's very comforting. I find it very comforting. So you're just not with a physical person. You're both concentrating on your spiritual journey so you can actually come back as one. So I hope that helps you and comforts you in some way because it does me. Um, so today I'm only going to use one card but I'm going to use the very powerful card the, and the... Um, sorry, my words are all over the place at the moment again because I've got, always got so much to say. Um, the Angel Oracle cards I'm going to use from Ambika Waters. So these are really powerful cards, so I only need one card, but that's for the overall energy of the Divine Mask and how God's assisting him and God's angels at the moment, what he's experiencing. And then I'll get the energy, um, what energy is in, how he's feeling towards you from the pots here, this one. And then I'll get the communication, what he would like to say to you, what he'd love to say to you if he had the chance and the courage in the 3D and what he's actually saying to you in the 5D. And I know everybody likes that bit as well. So I'm gonna start shuffling. Um, if I say divine feminine, divine masculine, it's just labels that I'm using and I realize it's energy. So if I say him, her, he, she, please don't be offended. Just put it into your situation and um, how it resonates to you. So. It's just easy for me to say and easy for you, you to understand. This is a timeless reading, so usually, you know, if, you're t if you are drawn to watch a video, it doesn't matter when you watch it, there's obviously a message for you. And again, the same, if you do click on this video and none of it resonates to you, don't try and fit it into your circumstances, situation. Just click off because the message isn't for you or you're not ready to hear the message yet. So... Um, please don't try and make it fit and try and work it out and confuse yourself. Just trust your intuition. Um, you'll know yourself if the message is for you. So, <clears throat> let's see what's going on with the door and masculines. How are you assisting Divine Masculine? What's the energy of the Divine Masculine at the moment? Nice clear message for the person that's watching today, please.
spiritual growth. Wow. Yes, he's had a big spiritual growth. So he's experiencing a spiritual growth. The way I become spiritual is simply, simply to become myself. Wow. He is more connected with himself. He's allowing himself to be himself. And he's, you know, he, he has, this is spiritual growth. He's connected with God and God's angels and he's allowing himself to be himself, which is absolutely amazing. This is what we want. This is what we want to happen. And as well, what I want to say is that means that you're becoming more yourself and feeling at ease and your spiritual growth, you know, is, has helped your masculine. And now your energy is going to your masculine because you are one soul so you'll be the positive polarity that's watching the Divine Feminine and your energy is going to your masculine and helping him have his spiritual growth, he's experiencing and he's feeling amazing and he's realising that by being himself is enough just being himself is enough just, it's so simple, just being yourself is, and all of the you know he's releasing so much of all the things that don't serve him anymore and how the thoughts and how he's feeling about himself he's releasing it he's letting it go and actually flowing and like this angel in this picture he's actually enjoying life and feeling free free just to be himself and by being himself means he's getting closer towards you because he'll be able to share his feeling, his truthful feelings by just being himself, by knowing and feeling comfortable with himself that it's okay to feel that way because he's got God's guidance. So I have got the um, more in-depth message that I'm going to get. So let's see if I can find the page. There's massive shifts going on all the time within me and the person that's watching I expect you're experiencing it as well. Where things are happening very quickly within and externally as well. So definitely for me. Um, so let's see what the more in-depth message is. The primary purpose of our earthly incarnation is our development as spiritual beings. It is this guardian angel who guards our spiritual growth throughout life, always defending our souls. This angel blesses all of the activities which nurture our spirit's welfare, which in fact means the things which are loving and respectful to ourselves. <clears throat> it helps us to discover that we need to recognise the fact that we are loved and cherished. Yes, he's recognising that he's good enough to be loved. And it's okay to be cherished and he's doing it for himself as well that's amazing if what our spirit needs is fun then thing then this angel will encourage us to lighten up and perhaps seek the company of a good friend and have an enjoyable time this angel guides us to the small pleasures which help us look after our needs and values and value ourselves it encourages us to seek ways fitting our means sorry it encourages us to seek ways fitting our means and our outlook which enhance and nourish our being. Its guidance, its guidance may be as simple as directing us to slow down and take a walk on a sunny afternoon or have a hot bath with lots of essential oils and a candle. Our spirituality blossoms when we look after ourselves. Yes, he's taking care of himself. This angel ensures that we have the opportunity to choose activities and people that will support our spirit in growing and flourishing. It blesses us with love so that we feel that grace of our soul and allow the sun to shine in our hearts. We can offer up prayers to the guardian angel's spiritual growth so that we are guided towards those people and books best able to nurture our spiritual development. We may ask for our self-awareness to be able to tune into our own feelings. We may need stillness and peace to hear our inner voice and to know our heart's desire, desires. We pray that those who teach spiritual truths have an open heart 
and are compassionate to those who seek guidance and development. We ask this angel to bless the seekers and the masters so we may realise that we are all one with Source. This angel teaches us in the importance of faith and encourages us to, to retain our faith in the goodness of life, even when, we things, even when things are in flux and we are filled with uncertainties. It inspires us when we seek ideas and is constantly leading up sorry it inspires us when we seek ideas and it's constantly leading us to the realization that we are aspects of god's love yes he's feeling the love he's feeling the love towards himself and so much towards others and he's feeling this love towards you you and he knows that you're his guide in life like i've said before and when he's with you he he comes so close to becoming who he wants to really be, to be himself. And he's feeling that, he's in that energy at the moment. So he could be thinking about you a lot and experiencing people, you know, because his heart chakra is open, because he's open to God's love, he's experiencing things like people could be coming into his life. He could be could being connected with people. He could be reading books or things of, you know, he, he's, he's, because he's got the wisdom and he's open, he's been guided the way to know, you know, what book to read to help himself or, um, you know, people could be coming into his life, like I said, um, that is helping him, um, that he's more connected to, he's got rid of people that are in the past that aren't serving him anymore, but other people could be coming into his life to help guide him as well. And he's feeling this guidance from God every single day because he's able to be, he's, a, he's, he's getting more comfortable with himself and he's allowing this to happen he's not got this resistance in him anymore and this toxic negative emotions and thoughts he's he's letting go of all that and allowing he's allowing he's accepting who he really is he's listening to his intuition he's listening to his inner voice and he what he knows what his heart desires he knows that that is you and he's going with it he's going with the flow um, because you know, because he's experienced this spiritual growth, because of the uncomfortableness and things that he's experienced before, and the dark night of the soul, and you know, just having really difficult times. Because when you're releasing old patterns, old <sighs> things, you know, people, situations, thoughts emotions all of those things when you're releasing all those things it's very uncomfortable and you know he could still be feeling uncomfortable because he's letting go but as he's letting go things are opening up for him um he's getting more wisdom because he knows what he wants he knows what he desires he's not he's clear on that now he's not so confused he knows what he wants and he's got faith and he's trusting this journey he's allowing this journey to happen he's not fighting it anymore he's allowing it to happen because he's feeling god's love so this is amazing really amazing because this means he's being more comfortable with himself he's opening his heart to himself he's realizing how amazing him he is and he doesn't have to put these barriers up of and pretending that he's something that he's not because he's so frightened and been so afraid before he's actually letting those guards down um, and sharing with them with people that are in his presence wherever he is whatever he's doing he's actually sharing that with um, people as well and you know there could be people that, that are coming into his life that are helping him on his journey that are on the same level as him that are spiritual um, but he's getting guidance he's getting signs and guidance all the time so he can feel more comfortable with being himself and loving himself and realizing how amazing he is and how beautiful he is and that he's good enough for you that he is good enough for you so this is amazing that your masculine is in this energy, but the most important message is for you today, the person that's watching, is what, you know, 
it isn't about the masculine. You've drawn to watch this video because you want to go. You want to know what's going on with your masculine, but it isn't about your masculine. It's about you. This journey is about you. And the more you can focus on yourself, the more you can f connect with God, the more you can not be so focused on the physical person that you think that's going to make everything okay. And just focus on yourself and go within and deal with things that you need to deal with. The more help you're giving your masculine, because we can see, we can see the growth in him. So if this does resonate with this video with you and this card, that you know, what's happening to you and you feel and you're trusting your intuition, this message is for you today. It means that you're doing a superb job, an absolute superb job. Because you've grown and you've had massive spiritual growth and now this is what your divine masculine is experiencing he's ready because he's opened his heart he's shifted all of that energy that wasn't serving him and all the toxicity and people you know all the different circumstances and things in his life within and without he's changed that and he, now he is feeling more comfortable with himself so this is this is, you know, and you can see that this, you know, this angel is feeling free. He's getting feeling free. He's allowing himself to feel more free from all this stuff that's been wearing him down. He's believing, and it's all because he knows that you're his guiding light. And when he's close, and when he's thinking of you, he is who he really wants to be. He's allowing that to happen now because of this love he has for you. So, you, you know, you just need to give yourself, a ta you know, a big <sighs> pat on the back of what's happening to you because now you're a masculine experiencing it. It's not a normal situation. It's not a normal relationship. That's why it's so intense and so powerful because this is about you. It's about because you're one soul. So whatever's going on within you, and what things you need to come, you know, to deal with about loving yourself and focusing on yourself and putting yourself first and having unconditional love for yourself. That is why your masculine is experiencing it because you're one soul and that's what happened. So you're doing a grand job. This is really exciting. And as I said, things are moving really quickly. <clears throat> It could be moving quickly and for you, but you could be still feeling very uncomfortable and, f and afraid, which is understandable. I've been feeling, you know, I'm excited and things are moving very quickly with, for me in, you know, inside and outside of what's going on externally in my life, in the 3D. And it is, it is uncomfortable and I'm coping really, really well with the change um, but it is painful at the same time letting go of things letting go of who I was letting go of that letting go of what I had and who was in my life and um, yeah just trying to control my mind and staying present and accepting that it's okay to be who I am now and to put myself first and have unconditional love for myself and to know that I'm good enough to have this new beginning to forgive myself for things that I feel that I've upset other people as well because putting yourself first is going to upset other people and you're going to be judged for that so that's what I'm experiencing um, but things are happening quickly and it's very exciting. It is very exciting. And it's just about being aware and conscious. <clears throat> Let's see what the energy pots have to say. Let's give it a good shuffle. Let's see what energy is in. How's he feeling towards you? Honest. Yes, that's why, because he's feeling that he can be himself. By being himself, he will be honest. He's feeling safe, that it's okay to be honest with you. 
to show you who he really is, how he really feels. He's ready because of the spiritual growth he's had, because he's connecting with God. Let's see what else comes out. Sadness, he could have experienced sadness through this process of this you know, spiritual growth. It's made him feel sad. And yes, as I just said, it does create sadness. It makes you feel uncomfortable because you're releasing uncomfortable things, letting go of things, cutting the cords with things. So it causes sadness and that's what your masculine experience. And when he's thinking about you, it causes sadness because he misses you and he wants everything to be okay. Um, so it's really good because he's, you know, he's, he's being himself. Um, he's more and more ready to be himself, feeling okay with being himself and because of that he's going to create honesty. So let's see what he'd love to communicate with you, which is the very exciting thing that everybody loves. <sighs> what he would say to you if he had the chance. And he could, you know, he could get communication and um, you actually get this message. But Let's see what he'd love to say in the 3D if he had the chance. And what he's saying in the 5D. Our future will be, our future together will be so bright. So yes, because he's being more himself. He's not, he's feeling clearer knowing what he would desires and what he wants with you. He knows the future's going to be bright with you. So that's what he'd love to say to you. What else would he say? Come on, what's going to come out? What else would your Divine Masculine say to you if you had the chance? Yes. <laughs> I never know how to say, never how to go with it. I never ha know how to behave when this comes out because it's, it's something I have an issue with. But I want to make love to you. <laughs> he wants to make love to you. So he wants to make love to you because he's feeling more himself. He's clearer. He's clearer now. He's had this spiritual growth about this journey he has with you. And he wants to share this love with you. So, um, he's, you know, there could be quite a lot of sexual energy going on as well because he's feeling free and he's just allowing his natural, you know, how he's naturally feeling instead of blocking it. Um, and I want to make love to you doesn't always mean to do, you know, for the physical sexual act. It means, you know, he wants to be with you. He wants to love you. He wants to share his love with you. Um, he wants to be romantic with you. He wants to show his love in an honest way, not, you know, like before where it was hidden or, you know, not being himself. This is all about him being himself and he's feeling clearer on this and he's been honest with himself and he does want to make love to you. So that's really nice for the person that's watching. <laughs> um, so I hope you're really pleased with that. Um, it's very exciting. I get very excited. We can tell him with, with my voice. And um, I hope you're excited as well. And I hope you're proud of your masculine. And I hope you're even more proud of yourself, of the work that you've done. Because this is amazing. Now I'm going to do a card for the person that's watching. The reminder cards to bring forth your beautiful, divine inner spirit. To know it's you know just for what God wants you to know today. What is the message for the person's watching today? A nice clear message, please. What is the message that the person needs to know today, God? To help them to keep their strength and to focus on themselves on this spiritual journey that they're on. Just to give them the strength. What is the message that they need to know today? All through this reading, my voice has been going. Uh, getting croakier, croak, there you go, croaky, er, uh, and croakier, so something's definitely going on, and it's the best card you can ask for, guys, it's, that just flipped out onto the, 
to the floor and it's expect miracles. The message is miracles happen each and every day. Be prepared for the most amazing miracles to help you along your life's journey. Ask for the divine help with any situation. Expect, expect a miraculous conclusion. You have the full support of the divine or for every, anything you truly desire. So now is the time to put forth your intention. Action to take. Ask for divine help with any situations. Perhaps either pray, write a letter or ask mentally aloud by putting your intentions forward to the divine powers which are forever surrounding us. And the affirmation is, I allow the miracles of life to move forth through me and around me now. So expect miracles. Don't doubt, don't put blocks in the way. Actually know that you're good enough and know that you know, there's you know, miracles happening all the time in your life. It's just about if you notice it and you're aware to these miracles, but your dreams do come true. Your dreams are coming true and you need to believe that. The more, you know, if you believe that, that's when you'll see this miracle, expect this miracle and just keep focusing on yourself and believing and having faith and trust and handing over things that you're finding difficult. Surrender to the situation and just be. Just keep aware of your thoughts and stay conscious and stay in acceptance. Um, but there is, you know, there's a mir miracle's going to happen. Expect the miracle. <laughs> so I hope this has resonated with you and I hope you're really excited um, know that you're worthy of this miracle don't just doubt it don't think oh well it's not going to happen to me this can happen to you if you allow it allow it to happen allow yourself to receive miracles allow yourself to receive success allow yourself to experience abundance um, it, it's all there, it's all there sitting for us, it's just about if we allow it, if we open up to receive, to know that you're good enough to receive this, instead of just thinking, oh well that's not going to happen for me because I, I don't deserve that, or that never, never good, things, good things don't ever happen to me, that isn't a good way to think. Know how amazing you are, know how beautiful you are, know how special you are, know how powerful you are, and then you will have received the miracle that you're wanting whatever that may be it might be to do with your divine masculine which a lot of you it will be or it could be other areas in your life that you're needing right now so whatever that miracle is that you're wanting it can happen if you allow it it's sitting there waiting for you just allow it in expect it to happen believe it's happening this is really important so this is a very good reading today. It's very short because you know only got one card for the masculine. It's not short what I'm going on about, but about the card that we got today. It's just one, but it was powerful enough. And um, you don't always need cards or anything really. It's just about me God is channeling, channeling through me. As you can tell, that's why my card, my words are all over the place and I'm getting all muddled up, but. There's so much to say and it's so much excitement and um, I just hope you're made up with this because your divine masculine wants to make love to you. He knows your future together is bright and he's going to be honest and yes he has experience and sadness but that's all part of it. Um, the same as you've experienced sadness and there's a miracle coming, expect it. Let me know in the comments down below if this resonates to you and the miracle that you experience, if you allow this miracle to happen to you, let me know what it is. I'll be so thrilled for you. And I just love hearing from you guys um, because I love to be connected with people that are in the same or similar situations to me that, you know, that understand this intense, powerful love and this twin flame journey, the love that you have for your twin. It's just, unbelievable um it's such a blessing and uh, it's just magical there's no words for it there's no point me going on <laughs> trying to find words because there are no words um anyway so thank you so much for uh joining me today on this video i hope you liked it um if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to subscribe and like this video 
you liked it. I do have PayPal in the description box down below now, so if you'd like to donate and support my channel, it'd mean the world to me. I'd be so grateful, so thank you. Um, keep your strength up, keep focus on yourself, and I'm sending all my love support and light to you all when I'm thinking of you all so take care of yourselves I love you bye oh that's your soul saying oh